Dave Palmer, if you could come up. Dave Palmer is the uh, director of CWA District in New York and on East Coast. Yeah. And, uh, Thank you. Everyone, thanks for coming out. Uh, many of you know that we had a uh, benefit, I think last Sunday. Uh, we did quite well. Just ripped the check. Uh, I wanted to thank all the unions, and, and uh, more importantly than unions, I want to thank Occupy. You know what's happened here, and we shouldn't be surprised. Organized labor, when we were at our peak in the 50s, when you're 37%, you can affect change. When you're 6%, it's a little bit more difficult. Thank you to Occupy for waking up labor. We've been sleeping too long. And with your help, we will get back up into the 30s, 40s, or 50% because when we organize, we will be able to affect change. And this is the first step, and I thank all of you for being part of it. So, with that, I have a check here for $5,800 that we made last Sunday. Oh, yeah. I talked with Albert and uh, understand that this will help cover the cost of heat, some electricity for the city, and more importantly, when we're done and we finally win the day, we'll put this square back in, in the uh, condition it was. In fact, even better than the condition it was when we came here. Yes. I just want to say thank you to all the unions um, and, that, and, and thank you specifically to Bill Nowak for organizing the uh, benefit the other day. It was a wonderful event. Everybody had a great time. The music was wonderful. The food was wonderful. It was just a beautiful place. Thank you so much, Bill. Um, this money will be used to keep these folks warm all winter long. We're going to stay here all winter long. We're going nowhere. We're going to be here in the spring. We're going to keep organizing. We're going to keep organizing. And what we're going to do, we're going to keep organizing. And a baby. And a baby. Uh, Jim Crampton, where is he? From SEIU 1199. Where's Jim? Jim, your podium. Afternoon, everybody. Uh, there's a, a chant we sometimes do in our union, which is Healthcare Workers Union, is that we're fired up, not going to take it anymore. We're fired up, won't take it no more. We're fired up, we're fired up, we're fired up, won't take it no more. Our, our 1199 is a union of healthcare workers all over the East Coast. Uh, we we do good good work every day as healthcare workers. This is also International Human Rights Day, and I just want to tell you that healthcare is a human right. Yeah. Education is a human right. Free speech, human right. I have watched Occupy Buffalo bring that message back to back to Buffalo. I've walked. Watch Occupy Wall Street and all the movements around bring that same kind of feeling back into the mainstream and the conversations and, and, and press for a very long time now. Three months. Three months. Unions have united with it. The religious community has united with it. And I just think we have to say thank you, Occupy Buffalo. Thank you, Occupy. Let's hear it all together. Thank you! Good heroes, good heroes doing good work, and you all got getting out here today to support them is a perfect, perfect thing to do. Thank you very much. Uh, call up uh, Terry Melvin, who's secretary treasurer of our statewide organization, the state AFL-CIO. Real privilege to have Terry here today. It's not 
if we all march together, if we all stand together, we will not be defeated. It's time for us, time for us to make this country live up to its original creed when it says that all of us are created equal, that we are endowed by our creator with certain inalienable rights, and among them are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. It's time for us to grab hold to what is ours. It's time for us to grab hold to what all through these years that we have built as a people. We will not allow the 1%. We will not allow the 1% to oppress us anymore. We are the 99%. We are one. And we will stand together today. We will stand together tomorrow. And we're going to stand together on every election day and let the politicians know either you're with us or we're going to send you home to be with the 1%. Yeah. This fight is all of our fight. And we must stand together. We must come out and support those that have given up what they were doing every day to take a stand. If you can have somebody living in these tents in Buffalo in 25 degree weather, we ought to do everything we can to lift them up and build them up. We got to show them that we are one. And I want to pledge on behalf of the 2.5 million members that I represent that we will be with you in Buffalo, just like we're with them in New York State, New York City, and we're with them in Rochester and Syracuse and Albany. We are with you. Your fight is our fight, and we will stand strong together. God bless you. Uh, where's Alice? Alice and Dewey, uh, Coalition for Economic Justice has a couple of you. So I think that was probably the rousing, uh, close to the rousing end that maybe we should get to. So I will be brief because we are one, but we are cold. <laughs> Speak for yourself. <laughs> Doesn't mean we're not staying here. The Coalition for Economic Justice is helping. I think there'll be more checks coming. I just want to point out that in addition to the fundraiser, unions, community groups, faith leaders have also been pledging support through numbers of ways. So it's more than that $5,800. Unions have been down here dropping off sleeping bags. They've been writing checks to CEJ and the Western New York Peace Center. There's lots and lots of support coming from all over. But again, I'll be very brief today. I'm the director of the Coalition for Economic Justice. And I just want to point out that 25 years ago, a group of workers got some of the worst news of their lives. In a factory that isn't far from where we're standing right now, they got told that their jobs were done, that they were being relocated to Mexico. Trico, Trico is just one piece of the overall story of job loss in Buffalo. But it's part of a bigger story, the story of corporate America run amok. A story of corporations seeking to reap profits, seeking to avoid labor and environmental standards that are what make for vibrant, fair economies. One wonderful thing happened out of that despair, and that is that a union reached out to a number of outspoken and passionate faith leaders, to community organizers, and to academics, and said, let's fight back. And they 